Hi, Sarah. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm doing well. Thanks for taking my call. Oh, no problem. Uh, well, I have some questions for you. Um, and so before we start, how about you just introduce yourself? Um, tell me what your major was and, and what your current position is. So my name is Sarah Glazier. I'm a business administration major with a minor in entrepreneurial management. Um, I graduated from Ball State this past May, so spring 2020. It's very exciting. And currently, I am a project coordinator for Infrasource Construction, which is a natural gas line uh, pipeline company. So I'm kind of a step under a project manager. So um, if you've taken project management in ISOM 300, I believe, then you kind of have a little bit of an insight of what I do. Um, but with business administration, you kind of have like a, a broad overview of everything that you could possibly do. So I do everything between accounting, HR, um, scheduling, like it's pretty much everything that's in business. I, that's what I do day to day. <laughs> that's great. That's helpful. So how did you find your current position? Before I graduated, I was actually very active on LinkedIn. Um, so I, get on, I got on LinkedIn every day, every other day. I tried to interact with anybody and everybody that I could in the project management field because I knew that's what I wanted to get into. And so I was either commenting on things or I was sharing things that help project management. Um, I was connecting with people that are also trying to get into uh, project management. So I did a little bit of everything in LinkedIn. Also on LinkedIn is a little tab um, for jobs and you can go in and you can search what job you want using a whole bunch of different titles for the same position because you know how one position may have a whole bunch of different titles. Mm -hmm. um, so you can use LinkedIn, search those job titles in the area that you wanna work in. And I probably check that two, three times a day. And I know that sounds a little excessive, um, but being that first few applicant really matters, especially in project management field because whether hiring a project manager or in my case, a project coordinator, they're looking for someone right now. So the faster you can recognize that there's a need for a company, um, the faster you can send in that resume and make that impression of you're ready to work now. And that, that doesn't sound obsessive because it worked, right? <laughs> I mean, like right. <laughs> ordering, it, it worked. So um, I'm curious. So, so that some of the strategy, is there any other strategy you used? I mean, LinkedIn sounds like the main resource you use to get there. Yeah. So after talking to Stephanie, um, we did kind of a facilitation about how to look for jobs, where to look for jobs, where to not look for jobs. And at that time I was really using things like Glassdoor and other hiring agencies and it just wasn't working out for me. And Stephanie mentioned that that's just not the way to go. There's just too many jobs listed on it for it to be effective. And once I started reaching it out through LinkedIn, it kind of narrowed down the people that are seriously looking rather than the people that are casually looking. Mm -hmm. So I actually stopped um, looking on like, like I said, like Glassdoor and that sort of thing. So I stopped looking at there and looked for people that I can make connections with. So like yourself, like Stephanie, like Rob Matthews, um, I made really good connections with them and they were so helpful in getting me to the right people so that way I can get a little bit farther. And as soon as I started making those connections and realizing that those people have more insight rather than a job listing, I could use that further and use that in my conversations when I did get interviews. Um, so it, it's like taking in that information and then relaying it to other people and to the people that really want to hear about that. Yeah, that's great. That's fantastic. Yeah. Did you happen to use the alumni, um, section on LinkedIn where you can find alumni and network that way? Is that something you used? I actually didn't use the alumni okay. section. Um, not on purpose though. Uh, just because when I made that connection with Stephanie, so making connections for me in the terms of, um, she kind of helped set up interviews 
and conference calls with me and connect me to the right people that want to invest their time in me. So when you say interviews, are you talking about like just like um, networking conversations or are you talking about job interviews? Right. Yeah. It was more like a networking conversation. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So those were all with Ball State alumni. So even though I didn't use the Ball State alumni tab, I still got to talk to the people that right. wanted and to. She, she was probably using the alumni tab too. Yeah, she probably was. <laughs> yeah. um, well, okay. Well, uh, any other t tips that you'd have for folks? Because, I mean, that's fantastic. We're here still in May. You just graduated. You have a job and you're at work right now having this conversation yeah. on your lunch break. Um, any tips that you have for your classmates who are still looking for jobs right now? So there's so many things that I could say just because I've submitted probably 50 applications and that's the small portion compared to other people. Um, but there's so many things that I could say just from my experience. But the biggest thing that I would say is to find a way for you to make yourself more of an individual rather than a resume. So you need to come up with ways to make you different from other applicants. And from my experience, the biggest way to do this would be the follow-up. So you always talk about what to do in an interview, how to prepare for the interview, but everybody give you like little slivers of what you should do post-interview. So what I would say is you need to come up with a very unique way to get a potential employer to remember you rather than, rather than just recognizing you. So whether it's writing that letter that everybody tells you to write and you still don't, or sending them a little gift that says, hey, thank you for your time, I appreciate it, here's a Reese's kiss, you know, that sort of thing. So it's just coming up with a way to set yourself apart from other people. And that's going to make other people remember you, not your resume. That's great, that's really helpful. And um, part of this, I re recognize that we didn't acknowledge it. So Stephanie, when you talk about Stephanie too, Stephanie is a career coach at the Career Center. And so it sounds like she was a helpful resource along that path too, right? Oh my gosh, yes. She was amazing in helping me connect with the right people because like we, you and I did a facilitation together about job search mm -hmm. and we came up with information or we found out that there was information that people were giving us that may not be the right information. And we need to set ourselves apart from the right information and the wrong information because you can talk to so many people throughout the day and everybody's gonna tell you something different. But at the end of the day, what you need to do is connect yourself with the correct resources mm -hmm. and not just random people that you run into during the day. Yeah. And that will give you the next step forward rather than just an option. Does that make That's sense? Great. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. But yeah. So really bringing clarity and narrowing down the whole survey. You've mentioned that on a couple of different times, getting, getting to the right resources, getting the right jobs, getting the right people. So it's kind of taking out the business and the other noise out of it so you can focus in on uh, a real intentional plan, it sounds like. Yeah. Yeah. So. <clears throat> Great. Well, thank you for all this. This is going to be really helpful for others to hear and hear your journey. And thanks for doing it, um, you know, taking some time out of your work day to be able to do it uh, as well. So we really appreciate your time. Oh, yeah, no problem. And I would just say for uh, anybody else that's currently looking right now, I am more than happy to answer questions personally. People who are viewing this video on LinkedIn right now, can they connect with you on LinkedIn? Oh, for sure. Yeah. Okay. Great. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much. We really appreciate it. You have a nice rest of your day, okay? Okay, you too.